I'll do. So this is my second go at trying pretty much pints videos. I did one last season in season 2021-2022. So this is my first one for this season. So for those that don't know me very well, I'm a big supporter of Carlisle United. They're my favourite football team. We currently play in League 2. And today, July the 1st, 2022, is our first pre-season friendly. We are away at Penrith, which is a local non-league team. So... Off there, it's about 15, 16 mile away, about 15 minutes on train. So the plan is I'm going to head into town, meet a mate, have a couple of pints before the game. And so the content is all about the beer. It's not necessarily about the football, although there may be nods to it. So if you don't like football, hopefully there's still something in these videos. So um, keep watching and next time you see me, I should be at a pub. First pint pre-season. Roosters, hope and glory, bitter from Arrogate. It's a standard Weatherspoons beer. I mean, Woodrow Wilson's in Carlisle before I got the train. It's quite hedgerow, little bit of toffee. It's in good condition, though, which is one good thing about this pub, but it's a solid beer. Unspectacular, but a safe, bitter. On to the next beer in Penrith. Right, we're in Penrith. That pub there, the Agricultural Hotel, known locally as the Aggies, where I wanted to go for my first bite in Penrith, but unfortunately it's shut. So 15 minutes from hell on the train, I'm off to find the pub. That last pint that I had in Woodrow Wilson's, I forgot to say on the video when I was filming it before, Woodrow Wilson's is named after the American president, who uh, his mother was from Carlisle, Janet. So there you go, fact fans. So uh, that's the station hotel here, we're just walking past, that's another pub. It's a bit of, uh, it's not really one that I go in, so we'll probably go into the town centre. See you in a minute. Right, we're going to try this pub, the Borden Elba, right in next to the bandstand. It's usually got a couple of real ales on, so we'll see what I get. See you in a bit. Right, so that was an interesting one. They had two, they had two real ales on, Wainwright and Lane Brew Amber Ale and the amber ale went off so i had to have a way right so i didn't do a video of it that's why i just got a photograph of it because i've already got a review on the channel but they seem to be struggling with pulling the planks but it was it was it was a bit tired but we're going to try this place now dockery hall it's been shut for a while so hopefully i don't know what to expect in here but it used to be quite crafty so we'll find out in a second Right, so we're at Dockray Hall. I've came outside because so they've been cooking fish and it stinks of fish and I don't like the smell of fish. So we're on Brixton Atlantic, 5.4% parallel. It's actually quite refreshing. Big lemon citrus flavours. Um, it's not the most um, exciting of beers, but it's doing a job. When I was in the border now, but over the road, it was really, really tired, the drink. so um, And having a, a tangy beer that I had in Woodrow Wilson's first, um, I haven't had anything really, really good up to this point. So this is the best beer that I've had today. So it was 5.4%. It was on keg. A little bit pricey near. It's about... It was over 11 quid for for two pints. But um, whereas over the road, it was four, it was £7.40 for two pints. So I've won today so far. I'm getting the cheap rounds in. So um, Matthew's looking at me, so, wanting to tell me to fuck off, I think. But... Uh, that's what happens. So I think we'll probably go to Felbar next, I'm hoping, but uh, see you in a bit. Just before we go to the next pub, I thought I'd just show you the little thing there. There's the bus uh, takes over the clock tower. Thank you, nice bus. Thank you, driver. Thank you, driver. That place there, the family grocers, does the best local produce in the internet. The cheese is fantastic. There you go. We're now in Robin Hood, next door to Felbar, waiting for Fel to open. First dark fruits of pre-season. Ooh, I'm going to have about 700 of these by the end of the season. In a minute, I'll be in for That was the Robin Hood. We're literally walking here to the craft bar in Fell. Can't wait. Right, quick update. I've just had a few bees in that Fell bar. If you can just see the sign behind me. So, we started with... Vault City's Strawberry Sunday, a strawberry sour, and it was absolutely banging. 
probably the, it's the beer of the day so far. Just what, I'm going to probably get run over. No, I've, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. There'll be more beer reviews tomorrow. Um, so um, yeah, we went to Vault City Strawberry. We had a strawberry Sunday that was absolutely banging. It was like tart strawberry, strawberries and cream. That was sweet. Then the next drink we had was their own Das Techno, which was an IPL. Um, I was a bit underwhelmed with it, to be honest. It was a, uh, it was called an IPL, but it was more like a, a lager meets a Blondale. Slightly buttery finish for me. I was a little bit, yeah, I thought it was a bit tired. And then the last drink we had was for, uh, it was called, was it for Northern Alchemy? And it was called uh, Bitter. Yeah? Brightness. Brightness, yeah, brightness, and it was a 3.8% cask guava infused IPA, they called it. I would have said it was big on the guava, and it was probably the best cask beer that I've had so far. Now it's five past six or something, it's 50 minutes till kickoff. We're going to try and find a Jola taxi, might get a few more pre match pints in, or we might not. We will find out. On to the next drink. In the ground. There'll be dark fruits from here. Yeah. I'll do. So that was kind of like my pre-match pints yesterday. Um, the dark fruit, the dark fruits just continued and continued far too many. But uh, no, it was a good first uh, pre-season game of the season. Uh, Five-one win to Carlisle and. Uh, a good night was had by all so um let me know what you think like i said they're a work in progress these videos um, i'm still not comfortable filming in pubs but um i'm sure that'll come in time but uh thanks for watching and on to the next one up the blues <laughs>